I'm Tom McNamara and uh, this is my newest uh, rehab project. Um, this property was acquired via a absentee owner list. So every week I send out a couple hundred letters and I get a lot of responses and most of them end up going nowhere. But this particular one, the owner was fairly motivated. Um, they were a uh, renter, uh, or excuse me, they were a landlord uh, that they didn't want to be a landlord and um, they weren't having a good experience doing so. And as their tenant was getting ready to leave, my letter arrived, good timing there. And uh, I went ahead and picked up the property um, by simply providing the uh, owner what he needed. He wanted some cash, so I was able to give him about $10,000 in cash. And I took over the payments on his mortgage, so I didn't have to go out and get qualified for a bank loan or do anything like that. So I picked up the property, we've spent some money renovating it, it looks wonderful, and we're ready to sell. So here we are in the dining room. Now in the dining room, we had carpet in here, that doesn't work for me. So we thought about putting laminate, we thought about putting wood. What we ended up doing was actually putting down a vinyl plank product. The vinyl plank product was cost effective, it was actually a little bit cheaper than the laminate. It's more waterproof and a whole lot easier to fix. With our concept of this being a rental slash lease option buy, we thought it would be better for us to have a property that's easier to repair. And this is the most likely place to need a repair. So we went with this product, we think it's great. So here we are, we're in the, the family little room, living room, whatever it is that you want to call it. One of the key features of this room is the 5.1 surround sound system. It's already installed, all the speakers are in the walls, center channel, there's even two speakers behind you over there. You've got all the wires run to hang your flat screen TV. I think you could go 70 inch if you want. Everything wires to down here, so when you put your console down there, you've got all the wires in it. It's nice and beautiful, sounds great, looks great. All right, so here we are, we're in the backyard now, and uh, as you can see, it's a pretty large backyard, and um, the previous owner actually had the yard extended. Uh, behind behind us here is uh, was a conservation area and they had permission to get a little bit more of it about 20 feet added into the actual yard and put the fence back there and that gave them the ability to put a nice 10 by 12 shed in the back and not take up a lot of room from the yard so it's a great yard to have your kids play outside your dogs and also if you'll notice it slopes away from the house pretty well so you have no drainage all right so here in the master bedroom Again, remember I, I said that the house was four feet wider? Well, it's four feet wider in here too. This is a really large master bedroom for this style and size of house in this area, but it's very, very comfortable. Fortunately for us in this room, all we had to do was paint and carpet. Matter of fact, we did paint and carpet in all of the bedrooms. So all of the bedrooms had paint and carpet work that needed to be done to them, and that's really all we had to do in there. All right, so here we are in the garage. Now as you enter the garage, you'll probably notice this garage is about four feet longer than your average garage. It's also about four feet wider. What does that mean? Well, you can park a car, you can park two cars, and still have a whole lot of room for your dance recital. You also have a whole lot of storage on the side. Plus, of course, you've got your attic access with ample storage up there. All right, so here we are in the kitchen. Now, the kitchen looks fairly similar to what it looked like when we purchased the property, but there were a few items that we didn't know were, were needed to be repaired. Fortunately, we were smart enough to have an inspector come in and take care of the, the, looking at the property from a different set of eyes that we didn't have. Found a few things that needed to be repaired. For instance, the sink did not move. The faucet would not move. The microwave actually had a crack right here, which was leaking radiation, not good for anybody, right? So, as part of the process, we went back to the seller and asked for a repair credit for these and a few other items. Well, the seller was a little bit reluctant to provide a repair credit. After thinking about it for a day, he decided he would actually do the work himself. Took a bunch of pictures, had some friends come over that were experts, helped him out. He got this repaired, he got a new microwave installed, he took care of some issues in the bathroom with the tile, and we got about $2,000 worth of work done for free. Good $500 investment. So we've got a four bedroom, three bathroom, 2,178 square foot house in Deltona for sale for a mere $199,000. And we're offering a lease option purchase. You can put down $5,000, rent the property for up to two years, and buy it during that time. It's a great way to get a family back into home.